There are several reasons why it's very important to have an early diagnosis and know the genetic origins of muscular dystrophy in as many patients as possible. Dr. Zingariello, do you have any thoughts about some of the reasons why this might be important for patients? Yes, absolutely. Patients who receive an early diagnosis of limb girdle muscular dystrophy may be eligible to enroll into gene therapy and other therapeutic clinical trials. And the, uh, the landscape will be changing in the future. Right now, there are no FDA-approved therapies for limb girdle muscular dystrophies, but we're anticipating that this will change in the future. So not only will patients be eligible for clinical trials, but there may be therapies available that are specific to particular subtypes. And so it's really important to know what genetic subtype you have. And there are some therapies that have been approved for other diseases that are even mutation specific, meaning that not only do you have to have a particular gene affected, but it's a, only a certain type of mutation within that gene that's amenable to certain therapies. So it's really important to have as precise a diagnosis as possible. Um, any other thoughts, Dr. Zingariello? I agree. Mutations occasionally will correspond to specific limb girdle muscular dystrophy phenotypes, and this can allow healthcare providers to predict the severity of the disease as well as coordinate appropriate treatment and management strategies. Yes, and one good example of that is that certain complications tend to occur more often in certain ter subtypes of limb girdle muscular dystrophy than others, and these can include cardiac and pulmonary complications, as well as some other complications in specific subtypes. And this is also important for genetic counseling purposes. Sometimes if a patient is of childbearing age and they're thinking about starting a family or expanding their family, they'll want to know what is the likelihood of one of my children having this. And this may also be true of parents of affected individuals if the patient is a child. If they're thinking about having more children, they'll wonder what are the chances that my child will have it also. And knowing the mutation that's involved and the gene that's involved will really help with family planning and open up options for, uh, for making this less likely to occur in the future.